Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the RAD Combo Box. RAD Combo Box is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET and XAML development. As you'll see in this and coming videos, the RAD Combo Box can be set to be an editable or non-editable mode. It can get its contents from virtually any form of data binding. It supports the auto-complete feature or when you're not editing the auto-search feature. You can control its appearance through styling and you can, it supports a grid-like drop-down. Let's open Visual Studio and create a new project and call it Rad Combo Box Getting Started. We are going to make this a Silverlight 5 application and when we accept that the configuration wizard comes up for Telerik. We're going to slide down to input. That's the reference that we need and that will automatically include all dependent references, which in this case is Telerik Windows Controls and we'll click finish. When Visual Studio settles down we can see that Telerik Windows Controls and Telerik Windows Controls input are in our references and a Telerik namespace has been added to the top of our XAML. Let's scroll down just a little bit and add a RAD combo box to the grid and we'll set its height and width setting the width to 200. We save that and we get a RAD combo box. We can see that in the designer. Let's run it. When IE comes up, we have a combo box, but of course it has nothing to drop down because we haven't added any items to it or bound to any data. Let's go back to our combo box and add some rad combo box items. We'll set the content to the first one to say item 1 and save that. And then we will copy and paste item 1 to create a couple more items which we will set the content to item 2 and to item 3. Let's run the application again. Now when the browser comes up we can see the combo box and we click on it we get a drop down with items 1, 2, and 3. We can select any of these and they become the current selection in the combo box. We have control over whether the combo box is editable or not with the is editable property. Let's set that to true and now our combo box looks a little bit different. We still have the drop down but we can type directly into the combo box and add new items as well. Note that those new items can be typed into the combo box but that does not add them to the list. Another feature of the combo box is the ability to add a clear button that will clear the selection. You can set what the button says and whether or not it's visible. It defaults to being invisible. This allows you to have a drop-down selection that will clear the current selection. In the editable text box this is not as powerful because we can just hit the backspace key to clear it. But if we go back and we change is editable to false and then we run this application again you can see the utility of having the clear button we're going to choose one of the items and then we're going to clear it if we just try to click on it to erase it it'll just open the drop down but hitting the clear button does clear it out to see the next feature what I'd like to do is add a second control so let's create a stack panel that will house both the second control that's going to be a text box and the combo box that we've already added. Let's drop in the stack panel and for the sake of clarity let's indent the combo box and now we're just going to add a standard text box but let's give our stack panel a margin of 50 so that we're not crowding the borders. Set a text box with a width of 200 and a height of 30. And when we run the application, we're going to click into the text box, giving the text box the focus. And then 
after typing in the text box, we're going to hit tab, and our combo box gets the focus, but notice it does not drop down. You then have to click on it to drop it down. We can fix that with yet another attribute of rad combo box. Open drop down on focus, which we'll set to true. Run the application again. Go back to our text box, type a little bit into the text box, and then hit tab. And as soon as we do, the combo box receives the focus and opens up. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you in the rest of this series on the RAD Combo Box.